Alrighty, so today we're back with that VR boxing game. You know that VR boxing game where you get to be Rocky Balboa, fight Rocky Balboa, and uh, have Rocky Balboa as your corner man? That's right, it's Creed Rise to Glory. Sure does feel good to be back inside of Mighty Mix Boxing Gym, home of the legendary Italian stallion himself, Rocky Balboa. There he is, look at him, look at him, he's, he's practicing over there on the heavy bag, working his jab, going with his cross. Oh crap, it looks like Rocky might have uh, injured his shoulder there, getting a little bit old, Rock, you're gonna have to take it easy, my man. So the last time we played this game on the channel, we took Rocky Balboa and we matched him against the most legendary characters from the Rocky series. We had him up against Apollo Creed, Club Lang, Ivan Drago, but a lot of people in the comments requested that we actually do some father-son battles. So we take uh, Victor Drago, we put him up against his dad Ivan Drago, and we take Adonis Creed and we put him against his dad Apollo Creed to see who's the stronger, father or son. I thought that's a pretty cool idea. So let's kick things off with, uh, let's go with, uh, I think we'll go with Victor versus Ivan. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Victor versus Ivan. I can see that father and son both have the same steroid dealer. <laughs> Well, ready as I can be, I suppose. Hey, Dad, you're really tall. What? What's wrong with my legs? <laughs> Looks like I really got a piss. You know, Dad, I, I never said this to you before because I didn't want to hurt your feelings. But, but, but you really look like a, a guile wannabe from Street Fighter, and uh, you, you don't even pull the hairstyle off properly. Should we be doing this, Dad? This, this, this feels a little bit weird. Why are your hands so big and why are my hands so small? Why am I so short and why are you so tall? I think I might just punch you in the ball. All right, here we go. Come on, Dad, let's do this. Oh, Dad, you've got the you've got the moves there, Dad. I didn't realize you were so agile. You know what? You know what? I remember as a as a kid, I used to whoop my butt. But this is where this is where I get payback. This is where I get payback. I actually low key always loved Rocky. Don't worry, Rocky, I've got this. Oh God, I've been hit so hard. I'm having an out of body experience. <laughs> That's when you know you've been hit really hard when your spirit flies out of your body and you just look at it from behind. All right, that's the end of round one. That was uh, that was a little bit tougher than I thought it would be. Come on, Dad. Let's uh, let's. Oh, that was good. I don't know how I dodged that. Oh, there we go. That's right. Well, as they say, the bigger they are, the harder they fall, and you're pretty freaking big. So I'm gonna have a good time knocking you down on your ass again. If you if you'd stop uh, giving me these out of body experiences, that would be fantastic. Oh, there we go. Beautiful little one, two, three, four, five, six. I don't know how many times I hit him. I'm just trying to stay alive at this point. All right, Victor sounds like he's trying to give birth to an elephant out of his ass. Listen to the grunts he's making. I don't think he's got much juice left in the tank. All right, Dad, we're going to end this here and now with a combo that I learned from my corner man, uh, the legendary Rocky Balboa over there. Get, get ready for it. You might remember what this feels like getting hit with this barrage. There we go. We did it, Rocky. Thanks for teaching me that combo, man. It really it worked on my dad before. It worked on him again. Uh, give him the old victory smash. I'll need to hit my opponent harder than that to do some real damage. What, in his balls? A perfect hit from Drago. <laughs> perfect hit from Drago. Man, I tell you what, Rocky. Rocky? What? Where the hell is Rocky? Oh, there he is. He's admiring that, uh, that po- Is he talking to that poster of himself on the wall? Man, these old people, they do some weird things. Taking too many punches to the head, I tell you what. But no game in the world works up a sweat like this does. And I I'm recording in a room that's currently like 50 plus degrees Celsius, which is like 120 Fahrenheit. And it is absolutely killer. So if I sound like I'm dying, it's just because I actually am. Now I got a question for you guys. Let me know down in the comment section. We're going to now do Adonis Creed versus... Uh, Apollo Creed, but down in the comment section, I want you to let me know if there was some kind of dream fight, right? And let's say that Rocky Balboa was going against Deontay Wilder. Who do you think would win? I'm going to say Rocky, just because I love Rocky to death and he can't lose. It's it's literally impossible for Rocky to lose, so he has to win. But let me know down below. I'm really curious to see what other people think. Anyway, yeah, uh, Adonis and Apollo, time to fight. Why does he look gray? He looks a little bit gray, doesn't he? I guess he is dead after all. He, he died, right? <laughs> That's probably why he's turned gray. All right, Rocky, uh, this is Again, this is really awkward. Uh, you beat him, and he beat you, and you best friends, and now he's dead, and then you coached me, and, and now I'm going to go and beat him. It's, it's weird. It's some kind of strange kind of love triangle thing going on here. Oh, he's a ventriloquist. Look, he talks without even moving his mouth. That's very impressive. All right, Dad, let's do this. Above the belt? Above the belt? Are you serious? You know I can't do that. You know, you know I like to start every fight with a little... Why did his balls make a bell sound. It's balls of steel, man. Prince of Punch. If you're the Prince of Punch, then then who am I? Shouldn't you be the King of Punch and 
I should be the Prince of Punch. All right, gonna. Oh goodness gracious! That was a that was a very good hit, Dad. I'm I'm very impressed. You're you're pretty good. You're pretty good, but you're not good enough. Okay, fine. Ma maybe you are good enough. Ma maybe you are. I'm sorry. I, I might have. I'm sorry for being disrespectful. All right, Rocky. I'll wait for an opening. Thank you for the advice. Great advice. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but unfortunately, it feels to me like Creed Rise to Glory doesn't really encourage body shots as much as it does headshots, which is a bit of a shame, because I feel like my repertoire is somewhat limited, just kind of going for the head over and over, and slipping doesn't exactly work like it should. If it was more accurate, it'd be fantastic. Be able to slip a good shot and get in with a counter. All right, the strategy is to implement a little bit more head movement, try and stick that jab as much as possible. And knock him down just like that. Another beautiful little flurry there to put him on his ass. He is really, really, really good at body hits. He keeps breaking my freaking ribs. And my block, unfortunately, doesn't seem to block because he actually punches quite, quite low. Look at that. Underneath the guard every single time when he goes for the body. All right, time for some cheeky, cheeky behind the ear rabbit punches. A little bit of dirty boxing up, up in the pocket. Come on. Boom. Another one in the back of the head. This is so dirty. All right, here we are round four. I'm going to need to finish this soon because I am getting gassed. And this guy's dropping some massive bombs. I don't call him the Prince of Punch for no freaking reason. This guy is tough. Okay, beautiful. Got him down. Just, uh, if you'd kindly stay down, please. Don't, don't get back up, please. Oh, goodness. All right, he's back up again. We're going to have to put him down one more time. All right, it's time for Eye of the Tiger. We're going to finish this like a boss. There we go. Please stay down. I've put you down five times. This is the sixth time that you've got up. And this is... He's getting up a sixth time. Are you... No, stay down. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. We did it, Rocky. We beat him. We beat the crap out of him. God, that was the weirdest battle that I've ever had. You know, just the connections between all of us was crazy. But it made it even more intense. And you know what I noticed while we were actually fighting? It kind of creeped me out a little bit. The strange guys that are watching this fight. Uh... Why did you invite these people and not like some sexy ladies or something? Well, I think we uh, we just killed Apollo. I, I mean, a second time. I think we killed him a second time. But you know what strikes me as really strange? That Delphi Gym is actually Apollo's gym. This is where he fights out of. Except we don't have uh, any pictures of uh, Apollo anywhere. We've got plenty of photos of Adonis. But, but that's it. What happened? We forget about him? All right, so we did the father-son battles. Now let's finish with one more fight just to put the cherry and the icing on top of the cake. I tell you what, I am absolutely dead. So this last fight is going to be really, really tough. And you know who I think we'll do for this last fight? I think we'll take... I'm going to be Rocky, because i got to be Rocky at least once in this video. And I'm going to go against Danny Wheeler. And the reason I'm going against him is because I'm going to beat him up to uh, to get the keys back for Adonis' Mustang. <laughs> this is a revenge battle. Hey, all right, here we are. The Italian Stallion, Rocky Balboa. Who have I got in my corner? Oh, Rocky Balboa. This is, this is, uh, this is always awkward every single time. You look pretty cool with it, though, so uh, I won't make it any more awkward than it needs to be. What the hell? Look at that guy out there. That guy's freaking purple. That guy's purple with yellow hair. What in the... Where do you find these people? Oh, man, there, there's another one. It's just all these purple dudes. Look at this. There's purple dudes everywhere. This is so weird. All right, Will, I heard you took Adonis' Mustang. Well, I'm... Yeah, I'm ready. But look, let me tell you something now, Wheeler. At the end of this battle, after I put your ass on the ground, you're going to give me back the keys to the Mustang. Get that dirty look off your face. Get that freaking dirty look off your face. You ever experience the eye of the tiger? Well, I'm going to show you my eye of the tiger. Oh, you didn't like that, did you? You didn't like that punch to the ribs. I don't blame you. You're getting hit by the uh, the heavyweight champion of the world. The pride of Philadelphia. Let's go. Come on. Oh, look, what happened? What happened? So Wheeler, tell me, uh, do you want knuckle sandwich or do you want bunch of fives? Actually, you know, I'm, I'm feeling extra generous today. I'm going to give you both of them. Yeah, that's right. Ugh. You're welcome. All right, here we are in round three. It looks like Wheeler's having an internal heart rupture on the left side of his chest. I guess I'm gonna gonna finish that for you. Just gonna punch that heart until it explodes. I think I killed him. Did I kill you? Did I kill you? Oh, oh, whoop, there he goes. Whoop! <laughs> Victory! <laughs> oh, God. Hey, Rocky. I think I killed him. I love you, Adrian! Whew, I tell you what, they were three of the toughest and hottest fights that I've ever had in my life. I am absolutely dripping in sweat. Seems like Rocky's feeling pretty hot as well, because if I'm not mistaken, he's standing in front of the air conditioning vent. <laughs> Which actually seems like a really, really good idea. 